Hi, I'm Lauren from LJA McTimney Animal Chiropractic and I've joined up with Mandy from AP Equine and Canine to produce a series of pole work exercise how-to videos. You'll have to excuse some of the footage, Storm Callum decided to give us a helping hand on a very wet and windy Saturday morning. We've used two quite different horses throughout our series of videos. This is Rue, a five-year-old warm blood cross Frisian gelding who is quite a laid-back lad. He's not been broken in very long, so he's still learning the basics. Then we have Vogue, a nine-year-old thoroughbred cross cobmare who, despite being broken in a little bit later in life, is more established in her work, but can be a little bit over-enthusiastic at times. Both horses only have a little experience with pole work, so demonstrate how easily even green horses take to these tasks. Today we are progressing to Cavalettis. These should be used as a later stage of pole work once your horse has established itself with various ground level pole exercises. Depending on what you want to achieve, you can alter the distances between the poles to suit. In this video, we have started with a regular trot distance and progressed to canter. As these horses are green, we have kept the distances even from pole to pole to encourage them to maintain rhythm and balance throughout the exercise. However, this can be progressed to varying distances and heights to really get your horse thinking and working on improved proprioception. If your horse has a tendency to rush at fences, then this is a good way to slow them down and try to get them to relax when in the presence of anything that resembles a jump. If the horse rushes when presented with the cavalettis, then bring them right back to walk and only move up through the gates once you are happy. As the videos demonstrate, frequently changing the height and layout of the poles helps to keep the horse's attention. In this exercise, we are looking to increase elasticity by flexing the limb joints and asking the horse to stretch forward in their frame. In doing this, we are improving straightness, concentration, rhythm, balance, proprioception and flexion to name a few. This exercise can be performed ridden or on the ground, but if ridden it is easiest to have somebody with you, as in the early stages the horse is likely to knock the odd pole until they have it all figured out. Don't be disheartened if they regularly catch a pole, it's just something to work towards as they strengthen. However, do be aware that this could be indicative of a weakness which is best discussed with your equine chiropractor or other suitable professional. Up in Intercanter, the placement of the cavalettis at an appropriate distance will ask the horse to sit back and engage its hind end. Cavaletti training is a great way to work on jumping distances and limb placement without the higher strains on the body caused by jumping larger fences. For dressage, this method builds on rhythm, control and straightness. It can even be used in the early stages of training for massage. Cavalettis can be incorporated into many of the other exercises that we have discussed in previous videos by raising the poles accordingly, such as the clock face, fan or even parts of the zigzag if you're up for the challenge. As a whole, Cavaletti training is a great workout for both horse and rider as it is quite muscularly demanding for the horse and requires a strong core for the rider. That said, please make sure that you always consult your equine professional as this exercise is not suitable for all horses.